John's done texting his wife. We can now record again. You're watching Forget Being Cool. Let me tell you something, Dave. If I were to rename Excite Bike right now, I would call it Go Slow and Fall Over Bike. I 100% agree. <laughs> it's time for the button discussion. <laughs> I'm on okay with you. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy an Excite Bike. I do too. I will, I will still boot it up every once in a while. Also, multiplayer is fun. I so okay so you know we're talking about this for the NES Classic, uh-huh. right? Uh, but it did at the time of recording. It did just recently come out with Excite Bike versus um, on on the Switch Online, which we haven't now, played I, together yet. Which I would really like to. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that sometime soon. Um, but I I haven't tried that yet, so I don't know how that differs. Right. But here's the thing with Excite Bike. It it's it's fun. I won't there deny is, that. There is skill involved to some extent. There's some learning and stuff like that involved. Um, and when you hit certain jumps and you pull back at the right time, and you see the guy go flying or when you nail a fer- perfect set of triples or, or whatever it is, it does kind of feel good. Right. But the reality is, is that game is slow. And when you fall off that bike, and it slowly makes that sound as it slides you and the bike like off the off the the track, and you're the as your guy slowly runs back to the bike, and then hops on, and then you're going slow again, or you go through a mud pit or whatever it is. It is so annoying. Um. Uh, yeah, John, it's really fun. This is it's true. You're right. There's there's this there's this level of thrill. When you land that perfect jump, when you get into that wheelie and you're just like cruising down the thing, when you hit those jumps and don't hit the top of a thing wrong, I've never felt like I've mastered the timing of any of it, though. And then then you fall off or you get (laughs) stuck. You know, you complain about getting back on the bike, John. I'm more upset when I'm like, oh, I'm stuck between two hills because I missed that jump properly. So it's just slowly going to poop my way back up to the top of the hill. And and don't get me wrong. I, I get that. Uh, I think, and I don't know what your history with it or whatever is, but I played it a lot as a kid. Like I played it a lot. And so I got a lot of those things down. Right. Right. I don't have, so, the hist- I don't have the history with it. Okay. Here's the other thing though. Mm. Speaking of playing it as a kid compared to going back and playing it now. Is that as a kid, you're like, I can build this awesome track. All right. I'm going to put these things in there. And you go back and do that now. And you're like, God, like my options are lame. The track (laughs) ends up lame no matter what I do. Right. I mean, to be fair, the Excite Bike limitations of what Excite Bike is in general is not that exciting at all. No, no, not for not for today's standards, not for. Doing it post other experiences. Right. Right. So you just end up in this place where it's like, okay. You know, like, (laughs) all right. But, but I, I I will say the one way it can be a good time is if you are playing two player, if you are trying to beat someone else's time and you have that level of competition to it, because the level of competition will make it entertaining even when the game itself is not right. Cause there's something exciting about even when you're losing, right? Like there's that, that gut feeling to be better than the other person. Sure. And when you screw that up, it's exciting and fun. And it's, it, there's a level of, I, I don't know what word to use here, but it's, it's that other than competition, you know, John, it's, it's this idea that there's somebody to beat because we're all not really good at it. The same reason yeah. that fighting games are fun in general. I I mean, I don't find them fun because I don't win at all, ever. Yeah, but 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 see, John, neither one of us wins those games, but it's because neither one of us are very, very good at them. The same yeah. way that neither one of us is very good at Excite Bike. Therefore, it's you don't know that. Maybe I'm great at Excite Bike. Maybe, but I'm not. But it's still <laughs> fun to try to be really good against you. Sure. 
And and when we play Excite Bike Versus sometime here in the very near future, uh-huh. we'll find out how that is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for right. telling me something. That's yeah. I mean, that's really it. That's all there is, guys. Yeah. Excite Bike. You know, just like Galica, there's not a lot to say here. No, and I need to go and play some of the later Excite Bikes because I want to say they had some like more advanced ones that came out on other systems later. What's that game? What's that new motorcycle game where you're on like the crazy ramps up in the city? Trials Rising. Yeah, Trials. That's a fun game. Yeah, I, that, Ryan it, and I play that. That is that is the future of what Excite Bike became. Yeah, and that and, and it, that's it, why it, that's it, more exciting. It's just it's 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 innovated to a point that surpasses what excite bike was yeah because it's not anymore sorry guys sorry for those, guys. Of, for those of you who nostalgically love this game get over it <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong <laughs> for more great discussions hit that subscribe button or visit forgetbeingcool.com <laughs>